Hello, drone community. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School, and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. This week, we'll talk about a delicate drone mapping project in Panama, a new FTC rule that has some implications for the U.S. drone industry. We'll be featuring a flying car from Slovakia, and finally, a heartwarming story about a missing red panda. Uh, I'll skip to the punchline. A panda was found. Let's jump in. Our first story takes us to some islands along the coast of Panama, where the local Guna people are facing rapid land loss due to rising ocean levels. Nonprofit organization Panama Flying Labs used drone mapping software PIX4D to build a model and to conduct a thorough assessment of the land. And then they took their findings and presented them to the local Guna community in a workshop, giving them much stronger data to help with the delicate relocation process and the tough decisions the Guna are having to make. This is a great use of drone technology, uh, hashtag drones for good. Next up, I'll pose a question. Are any drones actually made in the US? The answer is more complicated than you might think, particularly when it comes to this idea of what's approved and not approved for certain governmental department use. The FTC just issued a new rule proposing fines for companies that falsely claim their products are made in the US of A. And here's the thing, many US-based drone companies claim their drones are made in the US, but the data proves otherwise. Even when we look at the blue UAS, a list of five drones officially approved by the Pentagon for government use, according to a recent report from the Department of Defense, four out of those five drones appear to contain Chinese-made components. So what does it really mean uh, when a drone company says that the drone is made in the U.S.? Anywho, we work with folks in many different government departments and often get asked about the best drones to purchase, so we are tracking this story closely. All right, this next story is a fun one. Here in the drone industry, we talk a lot about passenger drones and drone taxis and urban air mobility, but let's not lose sight of the original sci-fi dream here. Flying cars. That's, that's, all, that's why we're here, right? That's why you're watching this video is you want flying cars. Well, I'll share some good news with you. Stefan Klein, founder of a company called Klein Vision, has been working on a flying car since 1989, and now he has a working prototype. The video you're watching features the air car, which recently flew 35 miles in an impressive test from Nitra to Bratislava, Slovakia. You can watch the full video in the link below. I guess we aren't that far off from living like the Jetsons after all. Our last story is about a group of employees from the Duisburg Zoo in Germany who were just frantic after Jang, their precious red panda, went missing. Using both binoculars uh, and a DJI Mavic Pro equipped with a thermal camera, Jang was soon found in good condition hiding out in a tree not far from the zoo. Uh, once found, zoo personnel were quickly able to climb up and retrieve him with a ladder supplied by the Duisburg Fire Department. The thermal drone was crucial to the search, since the tree coverage was thick uh, and visibility was quite limited. Yet another story to add to our ever-growing library of hashtag drones for good examples. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Thank you for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next week.